folks, this is Ziggy again. Nice to see you. Today I would like to talk a little bit about rock and roll guitar, um, a standard song by Chuck Berry, Johnny Be Good. And well, this is really old school, but um, yesterday I listened to a song by a lady called Duffy, and her song is called Mercy, a big hit all over Europe, I think. And uh, nine million people clicked on it on YouTube, so it must be a smash hit. But, um, well, that song too is old school. Now, we go into details here. The song Johnny Be Good is um, based on three chords. For the beginners, we have A. You, I hope you know how to play A major, but um, remember four finger, middle finger, and ring finger in the in the third f uh, in the second fret. Sorry, and we start with deep down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans, way back up in the woods among the evergreen. There stood a log cabin made of earth and wood. Here we are on the D. Um, in the second fret on the G and on the E string we have we have the fourth finger and the middle and the third is on the B string here in the third fret and then the third chord that we need is the E major chord middle finger on the second fret ring finger on the second fret well, middle on the A, ring finger on the D, and first finger in the first fret on the G string. Listen to my playback. I play along, you can play along. Um, here we go. <laughs> We are on the D here and go back to the A and E A and E Dip down in Louisiana close to New Orleans Way back up in the woods among the evergreen There stood a log cabin made of foot and wood And a little country boy named Johnny B. Good who never ever learned to read and write so well But he could play the guitar just like ringing a bell I say go and so on So the last chord can be an E um, Or you stay on the A The normal um, rock and roll scheme goes like this We have the A chord, four bars Dip down in Louisiana, four bars And then we have two bars on the D Two bars on the A and one bar on the E, one bar on the D, one on the A, one of on the E, or as I did, you stay on the A. Um, so we have 12 bars. This is the most famous scheme in pop music, the um, 12 bar blues scheme, which fits into rock and roll too. Well, um, the next thing I can show you is if you are not the beginner but advanced, then you play like this. Listen to it. Okey-dokey. So um, we play the open A string, we mute the E string, I mute it with my thumb, and then I play like this. The A string, I always play down strokes here on the open A string, and then my four fingers on the second fret uh, of the D string and my ring finger is on the 4th fret of the D string 2 and these both these notes change my right hand goes through all the time but I lift my fingers in the left a little bit so that sometimes you hear these muted notes listen played very slowly look here try 
try to play this on the D string. And then later you add the A string. And this is what rock and roll is all about, or rock music. Start to rock. It took me some years to learn this, really, so to get the beat going, you can do it in only a few weeks, I hope. We do the same thing when we play the D major chord. Um, we have the open D string, we mute the A and the E string. Well, I don't mute it because I can hit um, quite exactly the strings with my pick and I have my palm as usual on the bridge here. And with the E we do the same thing, we play the open E and have our first finger on the second fret of the A string and the ring on the fourth. Okay, listen to it again. Here we are. Okay, when it comes to the lead guitar, the intro is uh, standard lick that I played. I start with my forefinger on the fifth fret on the G string, take the sixth fret on the G string too, and then I bar the B and the E string in the second in the fifth fret. And play it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I put my pinky on the eighth fret and the eighth fret of the eighth fret of the E string and my ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string. Which sounds like this. Two times and then I go back to the fifth fret. Then my ring finger is in the seventh fret and my forefinger in the fifth and then middle in the sixth. Then I play once again this bar thing in the fifth fret. Mm, the ring finger in the seventh fret, forefinger in the fifth, and the middle in the sixth, and then I go with my ring finger into the seventh fret of on the D string. And this little lick you can play. Practice this a little bit and look here. So what did I do? I played this lick in A, here's the A again, then I go to the D in the 10th fret, and here's the, on the 12th fret we have the E. Listen to it and follow me. Okay, time's up. See you next time. Bye-bye.